You know, we often find ourselves dealing with different circumstances in life. You know, some good, some not so good. You know, and when we say not so good, let me let, let me rephrase that. When I say not so good, I'm saying sometimes we find ourselves in a circumstance or in a situation where we're dealing with some things that is really challenging. Challenging in what way? It may challenge us in ways that we're weak in, basically, like impatience. A lot of us, by nature, do not like hardship. We don't like discomfort. We don't like situations that make us uncomfortable, naturally. That is what forces evolution when you really think about it. I'm saying like, if there wasn't discomfort, then we will be okay with where we was however many years of years ago. That the world would have never evolved had there not been the, uh, 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 um, atmosphere or the situation of discomfort. Discomfort. Well, a lot of us are dealing with different forms of discomfort. A lot of us are dealing with different degrees of discomfort. You know, uh, everybody's dealing with some form of discomfort every day. Whether it be the heat, whether it be sitting down too much, standing too much, walking too much, typing too much, lifting too much, you know, listening to people too much, <laughs> right? Sometimes just having to deal with certain mindsets is difficult, right? And being and when you're in a difficult situation, that difficulty naturally makes you want to move beyond that situation. By nature, we have a tendency to either face a challenge or run away from it. Well, you know, I've learned over the years that life is more like a series of tests that we deal with tests all throughout the day. And these tests really takes the form of just decisions that we got to make. You know, should I get up right now? Uh, should I go to sleep right now? Uh, I need to go and read right now. Should I write right now? You know, I need to go do this right now. I don't feel like doing this right now. I mean, whatever it is, washing dishes, taking a shower, uh, going to bed, or getting up, uh, uh, making a prayer at a certain time. I mean, your life is full of decisions. And with every decision, one can look at it like a test because when you make a decision, it gives birth to something. It gives birth to a result. And you see, 10 people can be in a room. Tell me if you agree to this. 10 people can be in a room or 10 people can be in a situation. All faced with the exact same situation. All do or respond to that situation the exact same way. But all get different results. Or five may get one result, five may get another result. But why? When they all done the exact same thing. Ten, I mean, nine may get one result and one may get a different result. But why? When they all made the same choice dealing with the same situation. Why? Well, it is my perspective. Because I'm a perspective guy. It's my perspective that life has a degree of predestination to it. And what I mean when I say that, I'm saying that it is my position, my perspective that life has like two paths. Like for every individual, where you're going to end up is where you're going to end up. Because if we say, if, if we say, for those of us who believe in Almighty God, Allah, the all-knowing, right? 
the magnificent. All, all the attributes we want to apply to him, right? For those of us who believe in it, especially believe in him under the attribute of all knowing that Allah knows everything. He knows your life before you was even brought into creation. On this realm, that he knew, he knows the decision you will make before the challenge even presented itself. You know, a lot of people say, well, we have free will. He, 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 he could have made you like a robot and, 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 you know, had you doing X, Y, and Z, but he gave you free will to do certain things. Well, are you still telling me that he didn't know what I was going to choose <laughs> before I even chose it? Oh, that, is that what you're telling me? No. He knew. If you say saying y'all know it, then he knew. No matter what the challenge, no matter what, what, it don't matter what the opposition was, it don't matter what you put in front of me, he knew what I would choose even if it were 20 years down the line. He knew. Faced with whatever situation or dilemma or decision that I had to make, he already knew what I was going to choose way before I could even walk. Right? If we believe that, then he knew where your life was going to end and how it was going to end before you was brought into birth. So, if Allah allowed you to come into birth at the time you came into birth, it had to be for a reason. It wasn't just an act of nature. Are we going to say that the almighty, you know, an intelligent, almighty being, source, are we, are, we, are we saying that he just does things just to be doing it? I mean, because if 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 if, you, if we're saying we allow us to come into birth, you know, there's no particular reason he just allowed us to come into birth. That's like, oh, he was just doing. He he had no reason for it. Wasn't no particular reason why he allowed me to come into birth. He just, it, just, it just happened. Well, I, I don't believe that. I believe that he allowed us to come into birth for a particular reason, knowing our end before we reached it. However. I do believe that there's two paths there. There's one path where there's a lot of good times, a lot of comfort and blessings and you know all of the the, 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 the the pluses on this path. But on this path, there's a lot of punishment, a lot of heartache, a lot of difficulty. And it's designed to help us realize what we must realize by the time we reach the destination. And see, we're going to realize it either way. It's just the choices that we make. It may seem a little bit complicated, but I believe that all throughout our life, the different decisions we make kind of puts us on these paths. It might set us over here for a course. And then it allows us to go back over here for a course. If we figured it out, then we, you know, we stay over here and continue on this course. And then we might fail and, okay, now we've put another thing in motion. And we got to walk this course out some more. I don't know. It may make sense. It may not. But my point is this here. Is that I believe that everybody has certain things on your life path. You see, here's another way of saying that. Many people have unprotected sex. Not everybody get gonorrhea. Not everybody get syphilis. Not everybody get HIV and AIDS, right? Some people have had sex with people who had the disease, but didn't get it, right? Some people have got these diseases on their first time ever having sex. I'm so this is just one example. Some people have committed crimes, never went to prison. Some people didn't commit a crime, but was, that's a good point. Some people didn't commit a crime and went to prison. Some people have 
uh, eating all of the filths of the world and maybe never got cancer or really had to suffer from the things that they've eaten. While there are those who try consciously to eat better and live a healthier life, they end up with cancer and die. Right? My point is this here. That while I do believe that it definitely matters the decisions that you make in life. On each path are things that are destined for you. You make a decision and the result that manifests from the decision that you made could have been a number of things. Could have been a number of things. The 10 people, right? Same situation, different results, right? The decisions that you've made dealing with a matter could have resulted to be a number of things, but it resulted into whatever the result was for you. The mistake we make living this life full of tests is that we continue to fail because we take a victim's mindset. The victim's mindset, in another way of putting it, is one that don't look in self, but you look outside of yourself Blaming everything external for what happened to you. You have to understand that certain things is put in your life path to get you to understand and realize something. The quickest way to see this and understand this is by getting outside of yourself. You see, your perspective of what you see makes that a reality but the perspective changes when you remove the feeling from it if you see that's the part of self I'm saying get out of the way get the feeling out of the way I feel like what I felt what I feel get the feeling out of the way get the feeling out of the way and put your mind in the way. Get your mind involved. Life is a thinking game. It's time to think our way through this. Push the feelings out the way. Let's get the feelings out the way. I need to, I need to see this clearly because I'm going through what I'm going through because it's something in this experience for me. It's a test I'm taking. You see, it is my perspective that when we deal it, when we're dealing with difficulty, uh, discomfort, an uncomfortable situation, when we're dealing with that, that if we face it, instead of fleeing, if we face it. Don't try to circumvent and go around if we face it. Sit inside of the storm. In the mental, trying to figure it out. What am I, how did I get here? How did I put myself in, what did I do to put myself here? It is something about this situation that is trying to help me see something about myself that I need to fix. I need to work on. I need to uproot. Right? It's something about me. You see, once we remove the feelings, once we turn our view from external to internal, once we realize it, once we start to walk out what we realize, guess what? That obstacle, that mountain, that storm, that discomfort, that situation, that circumstance, you would not have to circumvent it. You would not have to run from it. You would not have to dip and dodge and get all emotional because it will remove itself. It will release you. It's my position 
That when we learn what we're supposed to learn, then we've passed the test. And then the test releases us to the next experience. Peace and blessings.